Hi everyone and welcome to Matt's Plants. So today we're in the garden looking at the carnivorous plant bog. So these things I'm fondling now are the Saracenias, which are the pitcher plant flowers. Uh, this one is a purpurea, uh, Saracenia purpurea from Canada. So you've, here you've got my pingicula. These are pingicula grandiflora, as you can see, big flower, which you can understand. Very, very pretty. They're a native species in the UK from Ireland, largely, although I think they grow on in the UK uh, mainland as well. Um, really, really pretty flowers. I grow an awful lot of these. This is a native sundew. This is Drosera intermedia. Um, and over here we've got oh, more pingicular flowers. And yeah, Drosera uh, otundifolia. Um, growing on a little patch of sphagnum I've got going on as well. These are just coming out now. So obviously you can't talk about carnivorous plants without a Venus flytrap. So this is the original Venus flytrap. Um, some of the traps are dead, I've pulled most of those off and they're just growing. This is a big mouth cultivar. Uh, I always find it does slightly better than the, uh, the bog standard one next to it. So again, that's a uh, flower just coming out. I usually pull those off to help with the growth of the, of the, of the traps. Um, you can see the new traps coming through, they're sort of folded over. Pull off some of the dead growth, makes it look a bit tidier. Um, but in a few more months these will be catching flies like nobody's business. Really interesting little plant. Some people get really obsessed over these. I'm not I'm not one of them, but I do think they are very, very cool. So this is new growth on the Saracenias. I think these are all just hybrids I've picked up from various places. Um, again, I've got a lot of young pings. I'll show you in a minute the my little breeding station. Normally I send all these little pings out when they're still hibernicular early in the season. Um, but obviously this year we're locked down, so they, they've just had to grow. I've got millions of them. Really, really pretty flowers on the pingicula. I do love my pingicula. I'll uh, do a video at some point of my Mexican species I have growing inside. But these are, as I say, these are almost UK natives, so they do absolutely fine. So shut up the purpurea pitchers with those hairs that uh, help the insects slide down into the pitcher. You can see annoyingly that the slugs get at these. So they, they capture slugs quite successfully and then the slugs eat their way out which obviously doesn't do the picture much good. Um, you might just see the water in there. That they, that's just rainwater that digests the insects and the enzymes that are needed. So it uh, gets its food from whatever's in there. Uh, they're very good at catching wasps, I found last year, full of wasps. So again, tiny little ping, uh, Drosera, the sundew. Again, it's UK, UK native. Um, another close up of these sorry I'm obviously doing the voiceover afterwards because I didn't want to be out in my garden talking to myself my neighbours already hate me and then uh, a shot of the bog it's in its entirety there you go just an old um, pond liner stiff pond liner so this is the breeding station this is outside it doesn't get as much sun so the flowers aren't quite out yet but you can see how many young pings I've got as I said normally I give large numbers of these away every year to other other hobbyists um, also growing some sphagnum and some more attendifolia Drosera attendifolia you can see nice big fat patches of sphagnum that have also managed to get pings in them um, hold the camera steady there we go sphagnum moss uh, it's useful for some of my plants uh, that's a uh, Selaginella helvetica, which I don't think is doing very well, which is a shame because I like my Selaginella. And yeah, that's the breeding station. I um, hope everyone's enjoyed it. Thank you very much, and uh, I'll see you next time.